Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aintree Race Course here on Grand National Day 2014 here on April the 5th, 2014. Going to handicap the 415, what is the Karabis Grand National. Go 4 miles and 7 sixteenths here, 4 miles and 3.5 furlongs. To be exact, a million pounds they're going for. And it's on a good to soft distance here. Um, really hard, a very hard race to handicap since there are 40 horses. Uh, found four horses I really like here. And going to start off with number five, Rocky's Creek. Noel Feely is in the uh, saddle at 16 to 1 right now. Odds. Uh, here in the American odds, actually. In the American odds, he is at 12 to 1. Last time out, the one in Shelton, 3 miles and 3 16th in the Argentina uh, chase. On January the 25th, came second by seven lengths that day. He just held in for second that day. Then Newberry, from three miles and five sixteenths in the Hennessy Gold Cup chase on November 30th, came second by two and three quarter lengths. He had no extra and just held that day. And then Aintree, three miles and eighth in John Smith's Midway Novices chase, came third by 24 lengths that last year was the favorite that day. He won on a moderate third that day. Um, the big thing with this race is the fallers. The pulling up of the horses, the first fence, first couple fences, you have a lot of fallers. So hopefully this horse makes it first past the first fence. Not like last year or the year before Postmaster. Some people think that horse is shit. But, you know, <clears throat> do you like this horse here? I'm also going to go with number 9 here. About the Sars King, the 10 year olds here. Uh, 15 to 1 in the American odds. In the UK odds, he's at 16 to 1. Richard Johnson, last time out. Did run at Shelton, three miles and seven sixteenths on March the nineteenth at a cross country handicap chase. One by nose that day. He just held in that day. Then caught in a cross country chase at Shelton, three miles seven eighths on November the fifteenth. One by length. He was ridden in and stayed that day. And then Shelton, October the nineteenth, three miles sixteenth in a handicap chase grade uh, class two event. One by seven lengths. It was a uh, three to five that day. He stayed on well. Excuse me, three to one that day. Um, this is going by the American odds, what I'm using. So, do you like this horse here? Uh, ran in one of the Grand Nationals. I don't remember if it was last year's or the year before. But, uh, do you remember this horse? 15 to 1. Could be a major upsetter. Again, uh, another horse I found was number 11. Number 11. Mr. Moonshine. At 20 to 1 in the American odds here. In the UK odds, he's at 25 to 1. With Richard Mania is in the saddle. Last time out, ran at, at uh, Kelso, March the twenty, uh, excuse me, March the first, two miles and five sixteenth in a listed chase. Came in second by four and a half lengths. He had no impression before that day, and then a handicap chase, two not two miles and nine sixteenths on February the eighth. One by four lengths. He kept on well that day, and then uh, two miles and a half January the first. The handicap chase, one by two and quarter lengths. He kept on running that day. Actually ran at Aintree uh, recently, somewhat recently, a couple months. <laughs> on December the 7th, Aintree, three miles and a quarter, ended up at Fred Betcher's handicap chase. Finished third by two and three quarter lengths, 25 to one. He stayed on well that day. Uh, going with this one, I'm also going to go with the, with the 20 horse here. In America, we never have 40 horse fields. There's one 20 horse field a year. That's the rear, uh, excuse me, that's the Kentucky Derby. That's a few weeks. 40 horses is insane. Uh, number 20, Big Shoe. Peter Buchanan at 20 to 1 in the UK odds. In America, we have him at 20 to 1 also. Last time out there on March the 12th at Sheldon, two, 3 miles and 7 eighths at a cross country uh, handicap chase. Came third behind Balthazar's uh, King that day. He was the heavy favorite that day. He had no extra towards to finish that day. That's a big question. Going from, uh, 3 miles and 7 sixteenths. Okay, that was his first start in about six weeks. But still, he had no extra towards to finish. And we still have about a couple, a couple, at least a half mile to the finish. So that's a big question about can he handle the distance today? But can, but re, uh, last April he did handle the distance at a uh, cross cross country uh, chase in uh, Ireland, four miles and eight, handled it well, one by one quarter lengths. He was all out and held on. And then last year at Shelton in a cross country uh, handicap chase, one by four lengths stayed on well. This horse is nine year old here. 
do you like this horse? 20 and 1. Going with this one, so recap my bets from Atrium, the fifth race, 415. Uh, I'm going to go with the 5, 9, 11, 20. I can't find the horse who I like on top. But I'm, if I had to, I'm favoring the 5 at the moment. Number 5 would be my top selection. So good luck to all with this uh, very hard race to handicap. So good luck to all.